This video is about differentiating some more trigonometric functions. There are four more trigonometric functions we're going to look at in this video. These are given to us in the formula book, so we don't have to remember them. We just need to know how to use them. So the four trigonometric functions. So if we have y equals 10x, dy dx is sec squared x. If we have y equals sec x, dy dx is sec x 10x. If y equals cot x, dy dx is minus cosec squared x. And if y equals cosec x, dy dx is minus cosec x cot x. Now, you'll see in what's given to us here, there are k's in front of the x's. And this just shows us the chain rule. So if y equals tan 2x, we differentiate tan. So tan goes to sec squared. So sec squared 2x. And we multiply by the bracket differentiated. So we multiply by 2 in this case, so it's 2 sec squared 2x. So all the k's are doing here is they are showing us the chain rule applied to these functions. Okay, so let's look at some examples of questions using these trigonometric functions. So the first question here, we've got y equals ln x over tan x. So we've got one function divided by another function, and that's going to be the quotient rule. So the quotient rule says that dy dx is v du dx minus u dv dx over v squared. So here we've got u as ln x, which means du dx is 1 over x and we've got v as tan x and tan differentiated goes to sec squared so dv dx is sec squared x and now we're just going to substitute these into the quotient rule so dy dx is v du dx which is 10x over x minus u dv dx so sec squared x ln x over v squared so tan squared x and we'll leave it like that question two we've got cosec squared x so that means cosec x all squared and we're going to differentiate this using the chain rule. So times by the power and take one off the power. So 2 cosec x. Then multiply by the bracket differentiated. Cosec x differentiates to minus cosec x cot x. So simplifying, we've got minus 2. We've got cosec squared x and cot x. And there's our answer. Question three, we've got two functions multiplied together. So this is a product rule question. So we'll say u equals sec x. So du dx. Sec x differentiated is sec x 10x. And v is sine x, which means dv dx. So you've got sine goes to cos. dv dx is cos x. So then we've got the product rule. So u dv dx is sec x cos x plus v du dx which is sine x sec x tan x okay let's look at simplifying this answer so if i create some space so 
So I'll move that out of the way. We've got sec x cos x, and sec x is 1 over cos x. So we've got 1 over cos x times cos x, and then we've got sin x times 1 over cos x and tan x. So cos x, 1 over cos x times cos x, that's going to be 1. And we've got sin x over cos x, which is another tan x, times tan x, so plus tan squared x. Okay, question four. So we've got y equals cot 2x plus 3. So cot differentiates to minus cosec squared. So dy dx minus cosec squared 2x plus 3 times by the bracket differentiated, which is 2. So times 2, which is minus 2 cosec squared 2x plus 3. Okay, here's another set of questions. Pause the video, give them a go, and then I'll go through the answers after. Okay, so the first question, we've got y equals cosec 3x. Cosec differentiates to minus cosec cot. So dy dx is minus cosec 3x cot 3x times by the bracket differentiated, which is 3. So to simplify, we've got minus 3 cosec 3x cot 3x. Question 2, we've got y equals tan squared x. So that's the same as tan x all squared. So we apply the chain rule. So dy dx is going to be 2 tan x differentiating around the bracket, and then times by the bracket differentiated, which is sec squared x, tan x differentiates to sec squared x. So simplifying, we've got 2 tan x sec squared x. Question 3, we've got x sec x. So we've got two functions multiplied together. So it's a product rule question. So if u equals x, du dx is going to be 1. And v equals sec 2x. So dv dx. So sec differentiates to sec x tan x. So we're going to have sec 2x tan 2x times the bracket differentiated, which is 2. So 2 sec 2x, 10 2x. So the product rule, we've got u dv dx. So 2x sec 2x, 10 2x. Plus v du dx, sec 2x. And there's our answer. And question four, it's another product rule question. So u is ex. So du dx is also e to the power of x. v is cot x. So dv dx cot differentiates to minus cosec squared. So minus cosec squared x. Then we're just going to apply the product rule. So dy dx is u dv dx. So minus e x cosec squared x plus v du dx e x cot x. And there's our answer.